welcome to my channel so today we will discuss about lipids in previous class we had discussed about proteins and their applications so lipids lipids are nothing but a group of organic compounds that include fats oils waxes and some hormones so usually lipids when you call you recall it as a fats or oils right so this is this is this are my representation of lipid molecule this is how the lipid molecule looks like this is a hydrophilic groups or a polar groups a hydrophobic or non polar you know hydrophilic in the sense water loving hydrophobic water hating so next the structure of lipid bilayer this is how lipid bilayer looks like it is one set of lipid layer another set right so here all are non-polar oil or non-polar that means they are water hating groups but here aqueous phase water loving groups so next it is also can be a micelle micelle in the sense like a spherical structure right non-polar phase inside outside aqueous phase understood so some of the examples are there phospholipids triglycerides are the examples and roles of lipids so uh, there are many roles for the lipids or functions first one is energy storage it's like they will act as just a, you know what you say when we have a lot of food after eating food we will keep some food aside right in fridge or somewhere we will store the food so that so that we can have whenever we run out of food right? so similar way they will act as energy storage so lipids are a major source of stored energy in the body and they can be broken down to release energy when it is needed whenever it is needed is when you skip your meals when you are fasting during those kind of these fats or lipids will be converted into the energy next insulation lipids can help to insulate the body helping to regulate the body's temperature and protect against the heat loss of the body next cell membrane structure so lipids are a major component of the cell membrane helping to maintain their fluidity and stability now just now we saw that hydrophilic hydrophobic right so based on because of these structures only we can maintain the body's fluidity and stability of cells our cell membranes especially in cell membranes it will be helpful next hormone synthesis some lipids such as cholesterol okay which acts as a precursor to human uh, hormones and are necessary for their productions and transport so lipids are so soluble in fat but not in water right because uh, because of their that kind of uh, lip nature right so this makes them ideal for carrying fat soluble vitamins and other lipophilic compounds through the bloodstream which is required so engineering applications cosmetics you can see in moisturizers to improve the skin hydration and texture we use in food industry we use as ingredients in food products my you know margarine and as well as frying oils to improve the texture flavor and shelf life in medical devices okay so lipids are used in medical devices such as lipid based drug delivery like liposomes we are having to improve the delivery and efficiency efficacy of the drug next biofuels so lipids can also be uh, you know made up of uh, you know vegetable oils and animal fats uh, can be the examples for uh, lipids so these examples like vegetable oils and animal fats can be converted into biofuels such as biodiesel bioethanol and to to provide a renewable source of energy next surface modification lipids can be used to modify the surface of the properties of the material such as metals and as well as polymers to improve their performance and by compatibility so when you are using for example here metal they have mentioned no so for example metal nanoparticles when you are using it for a drug delivery purpose you are going to coat them along with the lipids so that they will be more biocompatible and which will be uh, which is required which is a property inside the human being when you insert inside the body so next surfactants so lipids are used as surfactants which are compounds that reduce the surface tension and improve the mixing of oils and water based substances whenever the surface tension is high the oil and uh, the mixing of oil or water based substances will be very less so to improve that it increase decreases the surface tension so it will act as surfactants also 
lipids as biodiesel lipids can be converted into biodiesel which is a renewable source of energy biodiesel uh, biodiesel is a typical uh, typically produced by the trans esterification vegetable oils and animals just now we saw by using vegetable oils and animal fats we trans esterificate them with the alco alcohol so we'll be getting the methanol to form a methyl alcohol so that will be getting sorry methanol methyl alcohol esters that is nothing but biofuel so the resulting biodiesel can be used as a drop in this place repla replacement of the traditional biodiesel or sorry traditional diesel fuels in internal combustion engines so advantages renewability so since it is a renewable resource so definitely if it's a renewable resource and they can provide they can produce from a variety of sources such as vegetables oils animal fats and microlays you don't need any petroleum no, i know or resources next reduced emissions since it is not depending on the uh, traditional diesel fuel definitely emission can be reduced improved performance so since this is coming from the natural uh, stuff so we can expect the high efficiency and reducing the engine wear and tear up uh, issues or drawbacks next biodegradability since it is a bionatural uh, polymer or a natural molecule biodegradability is a biodegradable definitely and which reduces the risk of environmental contamination in the event of spill spill in the sense whenever they are getting the crude oil from the middle east or some other countries what happens in the ship sometimes oil will spill okay the leakage will be there because of it the lot of spill oil spill will be there in the ocean because of this so most of the aquatic animal will be get affected so to in order to avoid that you can use this particular lipids as biodiesel so that you can avoid those kind of emits so the process of obtaining biodiesel from the lipids how you are going to take first raw material preparation first you have to prepare the raw material how the lipids such as vegetable oils or animal fats are collected purify them and then make sure that impurities are not now the pure Uh, lipids you are having like oil or animals so animal fats so next step is trans esterification so here the purified lipids are mixed with alcohol such as methanol okay and a catalyst so here catalyst can be sodium hydroxide so you are having the lipid uh, raw material you are adding alcohol to that then you are adding catalyst catalyst is sodium hydroxide to produce a fatty a fatty acid methyl esters that is nothing but fem fatty acid methyl esters which are the main components of the biodiesel so there's uh, and this process is known as trans esterification so now you are having a biodiesel so that uh, now you should separate now the reaction mixture is then separated into two layers the first layer which contains biodiesel second layer by product biodiesel biodiesel upper layer which contains the biodiesel that is fem whereas lower uh, layer contains the glycerol that that will act as a by product now washing and drying now we need to remove the by product and you need to separate so after separation so you need to wash it so the biodiesel is washed in water to remove the residual alcohol if any remaining alcohol molecules are there that will be washed off and as well as soap that was formed during the trans esterification reaction because of the trans esterification reaction there will kind soap kind of structure will be there that should be removed so now the biodiesel is then dried to remove any remaining moisture so purification once the biodiesel is ready you need to purify it that biodiesel is further purified to remove any impurities and improve the its quality once you remove all the impurities definitely its quality will be improved next the final product the purified biodiesel is then be stored and distributed for the use as the fuel so lipids as cleaning agents on detergents so for example in personal care products lipids such as fatty acids glycerides are commonly used as emulsifiers and surfactants in personal care products such as shampoos soaps and lotions in industrial applications also lipids finds applications in such as metal cleaning and degreasing and stain removal applications in laundry detergents also since it is a lipophilic or oilophilic so it requires oil so those kind of this the lipids can be used in order to improve the cleaning and you know uh, searching performance next cleaning agents for hard surfaces if any hard surfaces are there you can just apply them and you can easily clean them such as floors counter tops and walls and to remove the dirt and mill 
नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ लिपिड्स वे हैव सो फैटी एसिड्स ग्लिसरल फैटी ऑल्कोहल्स और लोराइल ऑल्कोहल एडवांटेजेस बायोडिग्रेडेबिलिटी रिन्यूएबिलिटी रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेस एफेक्टिवनेस माइल्डनेस कॉस्ट एफेक्टिवनेस कस्टमेबिलिटी सो फॉर व्हाट वी एक्सप्लेन ऑल कमिंग अंडर दिस पॉइंट ओनली लिमिटेशन स्टेबिलिटी इज द लिमिटेशन बिकॉज इट इज अ नेचुरल पॉलीमर नेक्स्ट कंपैटिबिलिटी समटाइम्स इट इज नॉट एज कंपैटिबल एज द normal conventional diesel next cost is involved to prepare this and to maintain this all those things and next availability so it is not so commercially available so far next performance okay sometimes it may affect the performance based on where you, uh, on what particular vehicle you are using and then and it is not much clear as of now next regulation so regulation in the sense we know that if you do if you come up with any new product especially natural or any kind of stuff then you will have to get approval from the many regulatory bodies so like uh, fda in america uh, european union in europe and japan also so working principle it's very simple since it has got uh, oil of phenic so oils uh, is related to oil so it is ability to dissolve the hydro uh, you know the grease and oils so it can remove so enzymes we will discuss in the next class thank you that's it